Hey guys, welcome to my channel AI with Kofi Andrew, and thank you for joining me for another video. In this video, we're going to be learning how to set up a RunPod with Automatic 11.11. For that, we'll go to runpod.io. So, RunPod offers you GPU cloud services. In other words, a virtual machine that comes with a GPU. There are a few that you can choose from like the Secure Cloud Selections and Community Cloud Selections. Community Cloud Virtual Machines are pretty good, but I'd rather use the Secure Cloud, so I'll go ahead and choose one that I prefer. So there are various GPUs here that you can choose from. They have the NVIDIA RTX of 4000 up to the A100. However, I'll choose the RTX A4000, which has a high availability and a lower price per hour. So we'll hit select and go up to where we have templates. Scroll through the templates until you reach the one that says Run Pod Stable Diffusion, Web Automatic. As we can see, there are many here that we can choose from, but the one we need today is at the bottom. So once you've chosen it, just hit continue. Here they give you the cost per hour, like the GPU cost, and running cost, that is how much they charge to run the virtual machine per hour. Then they have the exited disk cost. So go ahead and click on deploy and go to my pods. This may take a moment, so I'll skip through this part. Now that it's ready, we can hit connect and go to JupyterLab. Down here, we'll select Terminal. Now I'm going to run some commands to finish preparing our environment. I'll also be using the fish shell just because I like its features. You don't have to install it if you don't want to. I'll also include these commands in the description. I'll skip through some of the installation process too, as it can take a few minutes. The Stable Diffusion Web UI is already installed, so we just need to change directory with the cd command into the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. Next we need to be sure that we have everything listed in the requirements.txt file installed. So we'll type pip install rrequirements.txt, then press enter. And of course we'll skip through this as well. Now let's start up the web UI by entering python relauncher.py. It will do a quick last minute setup for anything else that is needed, then it will start an HTTP service. If somehow you get an error, then I recommend that you hold Ctrl or CTRL and press C on your keyboard a few times. After that, enter pkill 9 python, then run python relauncher.py again. So as you can see, this is exactly what happened to me here. I think it's good for you guys to see stuff like this for yourself, so that if it happens to you, you'll know what to do already. And it won't be so frustrating. Okay, we are all set, and now we can switch to the RunPod tab and press the connect with HTTP button, and that will get us into the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now just in case you don't know how to install an extension, I'll show you guys quickly before we conclude this video. So just simply hit the extensions tab here, select install from URL, then you'll enter the JIT repository address for the web UI extension that you want to install, and press install. In this case we are installing the Civit AI browser. This extension provides ease of installing Checkpoint and LoRa models hosted by Civit AI. Finally, you'll need to restart your web UI to finish the installation. All right, so now we've successfully set up Automatic 11.11 and installed the Civit AI browser. So would you like to know about some cool things we can do in Automatic 11.11? Then join me in the next video. And please like and subscribe, 
and turn on your bell notification so you'll know when the next video drops. See you next time. Bye.